Have you ever tried to find a perfect keyword and SEO for your videos, but when you go and look at the search results, you never rank for those keywords? Well, that's because you're doing keyword research like it's 2015. And I've been there. Last year, my second channel was dying. None of my channels were ranking, barely getting 50 views each. Until I discovered what changed everything. Not fancy editing or killer scripts, it's one simple strategy that 97% of YouTubers still don't implement, AI keyword research. I used to find keywords with basic tools that only show me keywords everyone else was targeting. I spent hours finding topics with the YouTube search bar only to end up finding huge competition all the time. But now with AI, I can find topics with low competition and high search volume in seconds that I would have never found otherwise. Ranking video after video simply because no one else is able to find these keywords. And there's one AI trick that consistently helped me rank number one on YouTube. It's something that I've never seen in other tools before. But first, let's follow the blueprint using DeepSeek, Exploding Topics, and VidIQ. This fairly unknown framework has changed the way I find my topics lately. It's based on what I developed called the five layer AI ranking ladder, which will find amazing keywords for you. So here's how you can set that up. The first layer is the discovery layer, which we do with DeepSeek. This is where we generate broad keyword ideas in our niche. We start on DeepSeek and unlike other AI tools that require subscriptions, DeepSeek is completely free. Just go to DeepSeek.com, create your account and you're ready to go. And what makes me choose DeepSeek over others is its ability to understand YouTube search patterns better than most other AI tools. It can analyze what people are actually searching for right now and the output is much more accurate for this type of task. Now we want to start off with the general keyword. Currently I know many topics around AI are performing well on YouTube. So let's stick with the AI niche for now. Then I paste my first prompt into DeepSeek to start the process. And you find all prompts and resources that I use in the description down below. Now before clicking enter, you want to enable the search button right here and then press the button. Then in this prompt, DeepSeek asks us for our main niche of interest. You can go ahead and fit in your main niche of interest right here, which for me is AI tutorials. And from here, it will generate five relevant sub niches and five content ideas. So now we hit search again. Okay, so now as you can see, it gave us five total sub niches. AI for small businesses and entrepreneurs. And then I gave five topics per category. So we also have AI for creative professionals, no code AI and automation, and two more. From these five, I think I like the third one the most, no code AI and automation. Now these keywords and titles right here are not what we are going to work with yet. They are far too generic and broad, so we scroll down to System Prompt 2. Here we can choose the sub-niche of the list above, so we'll generate 20 video ideas with the keywords. So I typed in sub-niche 3 for no-code AI and automation, and then hit search. Now from here again, it gave us 20 targeted video ideas around our sub-niche with the target keyword next to it. So let's go through these keywords to see if we've got something to work with. First thing that definitely looks interesting is AI Assistant, also AI Data Entry right here, and also AI Web Scraping right here looks like it has not a lot of competition. So I now already found these three main keywords in my niche AI that I would have never found with basic keyword tools like TubeBuddy, all with only one prompt. In case you didn't like any of the keywords I gave you, you can simply ask it to generate again or choose a different sub-niche from the first system prompt. However, there's one more AI prompt that practically guarantees I'll find a low competition keyword to rank number one. And then in here, we do that with cross-platform research and DeepSeek. So instead of only finding keywords just inside YouTube search patterns, we can ask it to scan Reddit, Twitter, Quora and more to find topics trending elsewhere but still underserved on YouTube. This was previously never possible manually but AI does it in seconds. So here's the prompt I use for that. Then at the keyword section you want to fill in your keyword which is for me again AI data entry and then we hit search. Now it gave us additional results based on what's popular on other platforms. You're essentially finding keywords that are trending on other platforms but haven't yet become competitive on YouTube. This way you can be one of the first to jump on new topics in your niche. Now that we have our broad keyword stack from DeepSeek we need to move on to the trend surfing layer. This is where we ensure the keywords actually have interest and momentum. And even most full-time YouTubers with editing teams aren't using this method yet. So if you're a solo creator, this gives you a serious edge. For this, we use explodingtopics.com, where we can track the popularity of our keywords and find related keywords within our main niche that are also emerging. And the beauty of Exploding Topics is that it helps you identify opportunities before they become competitive. By the time most creators discover these keywords through traditional research, they're already saturated. But we are getting in early. So on Exploding Topics, we have three main options. Trend tracking, trend database, and trend analysis. First, let's go to trend tracking and create a new project. 
Now we created our first project and we are ready to add topics. To find keyword trends to track, I'll click trend analysis right here and then search my niche, which is AI, and then hit search. And then look at this. Exploding topics immediately shows us dozens of keywords that have increased in popularity over time about AI. We can see AI agents, AI video, AI detector, and much more. However, it gets even better. Since we're trying to find a very specific low competition keyword with good search volume, let's check on one of the keywords we found earlier on DeepSeek. What I found was AI web scraping, so I'll type it in the bar right here and then click search. Okay, now we can see the rough searches and popularity of this keyword over the last five years. And we can clearly see it's gaining momentum. When we scroll down, we can also see related trends right here, like AI web scraping Python or AI web scraping agent. For example, we can see that this specific keyword actually gained popularity of almost 3000%. We can then choose to individually track these topics by clicking on track topic right here and then selecting the project you just created. Once we then go back to our trend tracking database, we can see that we're tracking all these topics right here we just added. This tool is incredibly useful for finding new related terms to our phrases. You can do this over and over again with any kind of topic to find related topics and get more data of the search volume. So by doing this, I already now have a bunch of different video ideas that we can make videos about. But before we do that, layer number three is essential to make sure we can actually rank number one with our keyword, which we'll go to next. I find exploding topics to be really useful for finding and checking upcoming keywords. The growth percentage is often very accurate to how much popularity a term has gained, but I wouldn't look at it too much as the exact numbers right here can be quite off. However, the trend direction is what matters most. You're probably wondering, how do I know if a keyword I've found is actually worth making a video on? Now that we've identified trending topics with growth potential, we need to validate these keywords specifically for YouTube. We'll use vidIQ, which allows us to find long tail keywords from our base keyword and validate them using YouTube's own data. On vidIQ, you want to go to keywords and we start by pasting in one of the keywords we found on DeepSeek. So I'll add AI web scraping and then hit search. Now the data right here looks already really good, but we want to ignore this and then go to matching terms. This then shows us all the keywords that include the main keyword AI web scraping, like cursor AI web scraping, web scraping AI agent, or AI JSON scraping the web. Scroll through and find something that looks interesting to you. And to me right now, that's web scraping AI agent. So then we click on this, and now as a last step in vidIQ, we are going to look for extra inspiration around this keyword. So first we click related keywords, here it will show us stuff that includes the main keyword web scraping AI agent in the keyword, but will also show you keywords that don't, for example, ChatGPT, OpenAI, or Python. This feature can be useful to find new ideas that are related to your sub niche. And if you find anything good in here, you could go back to DeepSeek and put in a prompt again to find new usable keywords. But in the bar right here, we also have the question section, so we click on that. Here, VidIQ shows you actual questions people are asking related to your keyword. As my niche is AI tutorials, this is very useful. Here we can for example see how to build web scraping AI agent. And this is an absolutely perfect keyword for me. We would have never found this phrase without using DeepSeek or exploding topics in the steps before. Then once we got a keyword, we select it and hit copy. And now we want to qualify it. And this brings us to layer four, the qualification layer. Here we are looking at competition, search volume, and the matching keyword. For that, I open up a new window in YouTube, paste in the keyword and hit search. And now to do keyword research properly, you want to have the VidIQ extension installed. For this, you need to create a VidIQ account, which you can create through the link in the description. And with our keyword, how to build web scraping AI agent, the number one ranking video is from a channel with almost 2 million subscribers. The second one has almost 20,000 subscribers, the third one around 100,000, and then 20,000. So overall, the competition for this keyword is definitely there, but it's not extremely big. Then we want to open up the two highest ranking channels in a new tab. Then once you've done that, with the VidIQ extension installed, you are able to see how many views these videos are still getting. We want to make sure these videos are still relevant, so they're still being seen. With the first video, you can see it's been uploaded around two months ago. It had a decent push initially, but it's still getting views consistently. Then when we check the views per hour right now, we can see that it is going down, but it's still getting a consistent 20 views per hour right now, which is a good sign. With the second video, we can see a slightly different graph with a lot of views in the short time in the beginning, which is most likely from its subscribers. And right now it is also getting quite some views. Then when checking the views per hour as well, we can see it definitely had a drop and it's right now at around 7 to 3 views per hour. 
This might not look like a lot, but 7 views per hour is still almost 200 views per day, which to me would be still worth it. We now have confirmed that there is still search volume, there is quite some competition, but now we're going to look at the main thing, which is if people are using the title as our main keyword. Here we can see the title is how I built the web scraping AI agent. The second one is scrape anything using this AI agent. The third one, how to create a web scraping AI agent. And the fourth one, scraping anything with Firecrawl's new AI agent. All of them are not exactly matching with our title, but they're pretty similar and definitely the same topic. To check this all at once, you want to copy your keyword and hit Ctrl F on your keyboard and then paste in your keyword right here. Now we can see how many channels and videos are using our exact keyword as their title, which as you can see right here is three, which as you can see right here is two times from VidIQ and once from our title itself. So no one here ranking at the top is using our exact keyword as their title. This will give us a competitive advantage when ranking in the results as we do not have any direct competition for our keyword. So when we make a video with this exact title and people search for this, we will rank number one. But most importantly, we're the only one targeting this exact keyword. But we're not done yet. There's still one final layer that seals the deal and guarantees your video has the best shot at ranking number one, the SEO layer. First of all, we need the exact keyword at the beginning of our title. So for our keyword, how to build web scraping AI agent, we put this at the start of our title. And to make the title more clickable, I'll add 2025 behind and I will capitalize all the beginning letters like this. Now, as you can see, it looks much cleaner. Then the description, and I always start by copying our title and then pasting the title in the description. This reinforces to YouTube what my video is about. Then I go back to VidIQ and with your keyword, I go back to related keywords. From here, you want to select three to four keywords that are related to your main keyword. Once you've done that, you want to copy them, go back to the upload, and then in the AI description generator, you paste in the keywords and hit generate. Then VidIQ generated complete story for in your description. So we copy this and paste this in our description. Doing this massively improves the SEO on your video. Next up is the thumbnail. And for the thumbnail, I keep it simple and focus on the keyword and we need to make sure it's better than the competition. When we're scrolling through the current results, we can see a lot of black and yellow. Here AI agent in black and yellow, scraper in black and yellow, and here again, the same color. Now to stand out, I would do something different. So I created this one, a pretty simple design, but it's really clear for viewers to understand what the video will be about. My face on the left, the content on the right, and no black and yellow. Then lastly, we have tags. And the thing that I do right here is just add relevant tags from the VidIQ recommendations right here. And while tags aren't as important as they used to be, they can still help YouTube categorize your content correctly. Now, what if I told you that in some languages, this exact keyword has 10 times less competition, but the views are even higher. A powerful growth hack that I've found is to use DeepSeek to generate translated versions of your keywords and SEO. For example, in Spanish, German, or Portuguese. I'm using this strategy myself, and with this video on how to change Gmail password on PC, the English video got 90,000 views, and the Spanish version over 300,000. By translating and dubbing your videos, you unlock an entire new audience with minimal extra work, increasing your chance to rank number one. The tools I've shown you today work incredibly well together, but VidIQ is an essential piece that ties everything together. But you can access it together with all other tools through the link down below. Not only will it get you access to all the features I demonstrated today, but it also allows you to try VidIQ for just $1 for one month using code CREATOR90. And also, if you want my full keyword research course on how to rank number one and see me do it live on camera, click this video right here. It's probably the best video I've ever made.